Hello everybody, and welcome back to my LP of uh, Disguise PC. Uh, in the off time, I have made a new character, Hemingway, for Ernest Hemingway, although I believe I spelt it wrong, uh, but that doesn't matter. I also leveled up everyone a little bit. Um, he is a warrior, and I decided to use give him a battle axe just because I wanted uh, some higher damage on the team, and uh, axes have the highest damage out of all of the weapons, even though they do lose some uh, hit. Um, I have uh, taught Etna ice through the tutor system uh, by having her stand next to Ernest and using ice like five times. Okay, so uh, I did just try and do the item world to get, uh, get a better axe, but unfortunately uh, in this uh, version in Etna mode they don't give you a Gen C exit or a Mr. Gen C exit, uh, so I died and lost all my progress, even though I was on floor 9, but uh, that's, that's beside the point, so let's go to Hall of Caresses. Alright, this is the last room. Take everything that's valuable. <laughs> Master Etna, did you hear that? <laughs> what? You're just hearing things. <laughs> He's choking, dude! How rude! You should never ignore a gentleman! What is it now? Kinda busy here? That is hardly a proper reaction after pilfering moi's treasure. But I give you credit for your bravery! <laughs> My name is Vyers. I am the lord of this castle. Finally! So you're Vyers. <laughs> what is it now, you freak? I cannot help it. It seems when people call moi that name, I get this overwhelming sensation. Oh, it brings such tears to my eyes. Uh, looks like the rumors were right. You are a freak. My dear, I am an aristocrat blessed with beauty and power. They call moi the Dark Adonis. Now, mademoiselle, you are no ordinary thief, am moi right? Yeah, well, you're no ordinary spaz. I admit it, I came here to eliminate you. Ah, I see. But mademoiselle, you cannot defeat moi. Yeah, that's what they all say. But too bad for you, I'm not your opponent today. <laughs> then who wishes to face moi? Beg for mercy! You face the son of King Krzyzewskoy, Prince Laharl! Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Prince Laharl, dude. <laughs> Your attempts at humor don't go over well with nobles, such as myself. You think this is a joke? What's the problem? <laughs> I'm Prince Laharl, dude! You, sir, are a prinny. You idiot! Look closer! Don't you see the antenna? <laughs> well, Laharl did have those. See? That proves he's the prince! You would have moi believe he is the prince simply because he has antennae? What more could you possibly want? Laharl is Krzyzewskoy's son, is he not? Shouldn't he have something more? His father's noble and sparkling good looks, for example? Yeah, right. If he was anything like his father, I wouldn't have killed him. Huh? Oh, uh... Anyways, this is the prince. It doesn't matter what you say. Wait, w w what happened to... Ugh, just kill him. Go, pretty, uh, prince. Master Etna, this ain't gonna work, dude. <laughs> so there's some, there's some uh, funny-ness uh, in that, uh, in that only because uh, certain endings, oh god, you're gonna be a bitch, uh, certain endings of, oh, I have to take out you guys first because you have heal. I knew they had heal just from the, oh, and he has brave heart. Oh no, okay. Um, should be fine. Okay, so... 
attack plus one defense up. Okay, so that's going to have to be the place I do it. So defense plus 100. I'll switch out the one of the defenses to attack plus one, so I'll be able to do higher DPS. So that uh, entire thing was kind of funny. Uh, it, so long as you under, uh, know some of the basic premises of uh, 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 Disgaea 1, in that, like, I'm not going to spoil them for you, but there are, uh, <laughs> it is just, see, th this is like a annoying concept, because I don't want to, I don't want to explore it, because I might spoil stuff, but then it's like, but... This game has been out for a while, so am I really spoiling something? Um, but whatever, I can show you uh, Hemingway's awesomeness. Um, I can probably okay. Okay. hit him with Pretty Barrage. I'll just have Bozo come up here. Boulder Crush does a lot of damage. Um, but I'm going to try and save its uses only because I, uh, I need it to kill um, fires. But uh, the reason why uh, one of the parts is funny, and this isn't really a spoiler or anything, uh, is because he references that, uh, oh, hearing his name called uh, is super awesome. Like, he loves hearing his own name. And that's just because um, he, in Sky 1, the characters just decide to name him mid-boss because he looks like a mid-boss. Like, he acts like a uh, not-major character. And it changes his name, so he's always referred to as mid-boss and never fires. Never as the Dark Adonis. Um, and that's just one of the funny parts of it. I might I might throw my prinnies at Fires to do damage once he comes. Um, it might behoove me to actually put one of the things. Uh, whatever. I'll just actually attack plus 50 would also be good, because I think I'd be able to withstand some hits from him. Just not any, uh, just not many, or if any, uh, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. I am just, I'm losing my mind here, man. Um, okay. Uh, I wouldn't be able to take you out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'll execute this. this. stuff, where if you try and um, do everything at once, but you don't use it, it's just, it, it kind of sucks. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I might actually put attack plus one up here, where am I? Let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect that to work perfectly, but one nice thing is if you go back into the move space and then move out of it, um, you can just kind of ignore certain stuff. So, gotta take care of him. I have 62, so I don't... I can be, uh, a little bit uh, freewheeling with my SP, which is nice, so I don't often get that. Oh, damn, I don't have enough for Pretty Barrage. And turn there. 
I'm hoping those do guys don't come. Okay, so it's just the swords. That you yeah, I'm gonna be destroying one of the geo blocks, and hopefully it'll set off the uh, reaction. Yeah, these guys are. These guys aren't very strong, so I'm going to. Without being able to move, oh wait, no. uh, without being able to move uh, appropriately for, uh, I mean, not move, without being able to move while in the skill, it gets a lot harder him, okay, um, to do most things simply because you have to like count it out. to do something along those lines. We have it. So that just destroys the base pad. But I can come up here and I would think just two attacks would work. He 
has no resistance to ice. So it's just gonna do unusual damage. I wonder if I can hit it. Chance of doing most damage. Oh uh, wait, no. I'm gonna want to. Uh, God damn it! I have to kill those guys. Or else they're just gonna heal him. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. See what happens here. Give it two turns using skills. Uh, could probably take him out. What? Why did he get to go twice? And I can't use items on people either. Which is utter bullshit that that just happened. Got some candy and garlic water. See? What did I tell ya? He is the prince. I see. Beautiful mademoiselle, does your conscience not ache? Nope, not at all. Yeah, dude! Nothing can hurt Master Etna's dark conscience! <laughs> Why should I feel bad about defeating you anyway? That is not what I meant. Do you have no regard for the wishes of your master? Have you no loyalties to anyone? Hey, you're a demon too. Betrayal is a part of what we do. 
Besides, I pledged my loyalty to King Kuchevskoy, not the prince. Do you believe King Kuchevskoy would be proud of you were he standing before you now? W what? King Kuchevskoy is dead. Hmm? Now I'm going to decide how I'm going to live my life. I'm sure King Kuchevskoy would understand. Let's go, pretties! Looks like we've had a change of plans. What will he do now? Yes, he just woke up, but his powers are still there. In fact, he just crushed the new up-and-coming demon by brute force. I see. But still, how did he survive after drinking that potion? And he has gained so much power. This is not good. Don't worry about it. Leave everything to me and the crown will be yours. Are you certain? Of course. Just remember. I know. When I reign as the Overlord, I will give you what you want. <laughs> Yo, end of episode one. Cool. It's time for Etna's Q&A Corner! This isn't the next episode preview! I'm taking this time out of my busy schedule to answer all your letters. This has got to be a scam, dude! Let's check out the first letter. It's from a seven-year-old boy from Earth. Now let's see. Help me! I'm always being picked on at school. Sounds pretty serious, dude. Are you sure you can handle it? Please, they're little kids. I can massacre like a billion little bullies. Wow, dude! Master Etna, you're willing to help him out? Sure. And I'll do it for the amazingly low price of 500 million hell. What? No kid can afford that, dude. All they have to do is ask their mom or dad. But no one has that kind of dough, dude. Well, I'm not running a charity here. So you're not gonna do anything? You're horrible, dude! Fine, he doesn't have to pay now. After he dies and becomes a printy, I'll just make him work it off. Don't do it, dude! 20-hour work days are hell! Run away while you still can, dude! If you really want my help, send me another letter. You don't even get paid, dude! You hardly get fed, too! Don't even think about it! Okay, you keep on talking and I'll toss you out again. Stand up to bullies, dude! <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, save. So that, that was good. And we got a little uh, insight. Master Edna's Edna back, dude! And her uh, uh, seeming, seeming master. And she doesn't look happy! I think she met with that demon! Not even Master Edna could disobey him, dude! Anywho, I envy him for being able to command Master Etna, dude. Is he blackmailing her or what, dude? What can someone possibly have to blackmail her with, dude? Maybe. Master Etna's just a spy from an alternate netherworld, dude. You got it all wrong. She's definitely a spy from the future, dude. No, no, no. She's a space detective here to protect the peace, dude. Space detective? Did somebody here just mention a space detective? Okay. <laughs> Who's that, dude? I don't know, dude! Please forgive me. My name is Flan, and I came from Celestia. It's a pleasure to meet you. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Episode 2, Space Detective Etna. So this is the episode where we're gonna meet Flan. That's that's good. Interesting. Master Etna! We got a problem, dude! Uh, what can it be this time? Are the printies threatening to strike again? Tell them they better get back to work if they wanna live to see tomorrow! It's not that, dude! An angel named Flan has infiltrated our castle! What? An angel? Oh, why do these things always happen to me? So, where's this angel? Well, um, excuse me, can you direct me to the Overlord's room? Master Etna, it's her, dude! She's Flan! Hmm, you don't look 
too bright. So, what do you want? Edna? That means you must be the daring space detective! Huh? My name is Flan. I'm thrilled to be meeting a genuine hero of justice! What? You have got to be kidding me! I know, I know! Nobody can know your secret identity. I won't tell anyone. I promise! I do have to wonder how high the voice actress for Flan had to pitch her voice. Uh, what's wrong with you? What about your transformation? And you have a victory pose, right? What's your super move? Hey, hey! Get away from me! Master Etna! You're an undercover space detective, dude? Of course not! Please, Miss Etna, may I please be your assistant? Like I said, I'm not a space detective, and you're not going to assist me in anything. Now that that's out of the way, you may as well go back to Celestia. No! I've always dreamed about becoming a space detective. I'm not going anywhere until I become your assistant. Ugh, now you're just giving me a headache. I don't have time to play around with you. Pretty Squad, let's go! Wait! Are you going out on patrol? Please take me with you! Hey! What? I thought you said you weren't gonna move. So I guess the old saying is true. All angels are liars. But I didn't lie. Then don't move from this spot. If you stay here, I might actually let you be my assistant. Really? Okay! I won't move, even if this castle crumbles around me. That sounds great! Good luck! Are you sure you want to leave her there, dude? Uh, she'll eventually just give up and go home. I hope you're right, dude! Okay. So, now we're in episode two. Um, I knew that Flan would become a part of it, which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to... Um... Is the heart still here? Where'd his body go? Whatever. Um... Which is one of the reasons why I didn't want to make a healer. Because she heals. Yeah, she's just standing here. Don't she's worry. Fine. I won't tell anybody that you're a space detective. I'm surprised this Fine, is whatever. Out. Please teach the evil demons a lesson for the peace of the netherworld. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I wasn't able to find a way, uh, I think I already talked about, of uh, speeding everything up without using a cheat engine. Um, yeah, I've just been, every time I come by, I... No, didn't want, didn't want that. Um, one of these. I wanted to buy some. There we go. Because everyone's life, as of right now, is rather... Uh, within like a 40 range where that's a significant amount to heal. Um, can I do other stuff now? No, not yet. Um, promotion exam, 8, 5, and 5. Uh, I might be able to do that. But I might just do that off screen, I'm not absolutely sure. So, and I don't think I need to heal. Yeah, that's the nice part about ending a chapter, just heals everything for you. There's one more switch like, around here. I think it's because uh, there are switches that open up the legitimate way of uh, getting into Anna's room, which is the way in which you can uh, like. There's a door right here you can see because it's like off color. Although this one is the same off color, but it's like right here, and that's why uh, this. Prinny says he feels a breeze because there's a room right here, so there'd be a draft. But uh, I hit the switch behind the uh, throne, but I thought there was like a switch. Yes. Yeah. There might be three switches. I'm not sure. I mean, there would have to be one there. Um, music shop. Heard at least once. That's fine. Now I really wanna find this 
switch. Um, oh well. So, uh, uh, at this point, I am... I am 30 minutes into the episode, so I will leave it here. Uh, and next time, I will head into a map. So, hope you all have a very nice day.